Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tom and welcome back to a brand new video and this is episode number 8 of mine and Callum's Cop in the Ferrari and we're here for the Austrian Grand Prix and speaking of Callum, here he is. Yeah, hey guys, welcome back to our Cop which has been given some incredible support recently. We've got to thank you so much. We haven't really said thank you so uh, we're almost halfway through the series already if you think about it. So we're doing incredibly well like what we did in the Bulls Return on 2014. We're doing incredibly well in the in the Cop. Just to recap, uh, last time I actually won a race, won my first race and Tom finished in third and it was quite good in the uh, Constructors Championship the drivers is getting quite interesting as well he's closing up so we've got Austria which is going to be a track that's going to be interesting to battle on um, because obviously all the straights but we'll, we'll, let's see, we'll see what happens because I'm, I'm looking forward to it we've got a lot of pit stops ahead and um, yeah I'm looking yep. forward to it yeah indeed and uh, just really touching up on what Cam said previously um, this series did start off a bit slow but it seems to be really picking up and you guys are really showing a lot of interest in it now which is good to see and um, obviously me and Callum we're a bit unsure about this series whether to continue it or not because uh, the response wasn't that good and uh, you guys really have turned it around, and uh, there's a lot more interest in a lot more interest in this series right now. And uh, I mean, kind of really thankful for that. But uh, yeah, yeah. nevertheless, let's babble in. Let's go straight on. What tyres are we starting on? You're starting on the options. I'm, I'm on the prime. The tires. That's rather nice. Let's have a try. Have a good start. You, you've oh, got I have your to starts. Yeah, now. I'm so oh, nailed the starts now. Thing is, if you get that perfect start, now you can go ahead into turn one and get ahead of me. Yeah, and that's oh, a bit annoying. Easy. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, that's just not. That oversteer moment was absolutely nuts. That let's was just... <laughs> that was mad. <laughs> Jesus no Christ! Contact. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Perez! 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 Oh my god! Issues! I've got an illegal overtake on button for some reason. Shit, Why I've got, got an illegal overtake on button? What I've got illegal on Alonso. Button, go past. Button, go past, please. Button. Okay, thank God you went past. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, no. I've, oh dear. Oh, have you just hit me? Oh, I've lost my front wing. Um, essentially, I just... <laughs> Did you I went drive to straight you. into me? No, no, no. I went to go up the inside, but then Stevens came alongside me. He completely clattered oh me into you. This car's actually everywhere. Um, that really backfired, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah. So, right now, remember Canada, right? Where I fucked up right at the start, and uh, you had a, world, a chance to just make it stick yeah. comfortably, and you decided to fuck up as well. Well, I've, just, ma I've just made three overtakes in the space of one straight, overtaking two McLaren Hondas and a Toro Rosso. That was fairly mint to me. Force Indians are stacking, so I'm going to get past at least one of them as I have a front wing change. Just taking Max Verstappen has just completely mugged me around the outside. He's had much better traction, but I've got the inside line going to the turn three. Hit I'm the hoping the Mercedes three. aren't too fast because this is obviously a very short circuit and um, yeah, made they, it lap. Yeah. yeah, you've got to be careful with that. I'm oh, still going start by side with Verstappen. an absolute Stappen. bastard. Oh my god. I crossed the white line. I just got a warning. Gee whiz, mate. It's a bit of an arsehole, isn't it? It's an absolute fucking bicycle. Got a better traction. Come on. on. Traction's not very good. Side by side. Jesus Christ, Ricardo. Can I have a bit of room, please? Oh, here we go. This is going to be an easy pass on uh, Hulk and Bow down the pit straight. On the Much inside. more. Ah, ah, I broke myself. But I've just uh, kept it on the track. Ricardo's got a better run coming out of this corner, though. There we go. I did a double overtake. I got uh, Will Stevens. I'm losing so oh much my time. god, I've completely forgotten to corner. Rosberg's already caught me back up, so that whole uh, extra pit stop. Wing. Again? Just nice curb, basically. Okay, so, um, what can I do now? Shit, options to the end. I know that's, that's, that's what's, what's going to happen. And it's time to sweat, so uh, trainers off. Combing my hair back, because it's getting in my fucking way. If I don't get lapped, I'll be very happy. Oh, fucking Christ, man. We're about to crash. Exit turn two. The only the only corner where the car just doesn't want to work, basically. Okay, and well now this race should be a bit more fun for me because I've got some tires actually work on the car. Through the final corner. And there should be a purple lap if nothing uh, goes wrong. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right, I've got a 2.4 second gap to Massa, he's only there. He's only just up the road and Rosberg, he's out a couple of seconds behind, but he's dependent on if he does one more pit stop than me. I've really got to manage my tyres just to maybe keep this extra pit stop. Because right, he's going to always have to lane, make an extra... Right. Yeah, Mary's in the pit lane, got him. Car's in the pit lane and I am pushing quite hard now. I'm going to gain some net places here, I think. Stevenson signs in the pit lane. I'm rather back at Hulkenberg now. It's time for the overtake. Am I expecting to mass? Uh, ex expecting to massa? Expecting massa to pit at the end of this lap. 
I'm going to climb the pit lane now, I think. I'm going to go up the inside of Hulkenberg at turn one. There we go. Up in the P14. Starting to make some freaking inroads, finally. All right. More cars in the pit lane. I'm still doing some decent 09s. Up in the P11. I'm getting some buttons right ahead of me, so P10 could be... Imminent. Oh my god, I've literally just lost a rear and I'm in the gravel. Okay then. So much Not for bad. keeping them. M Mary's just hit me. Mary's just gone and fucking hit me. Why? Not right, okay, so I've just lost all of that time. Rosberg's now into the lead. Cheers, Mary. Cheers. I know I pulled out in front of you, but where else am I going to go? Cheers, fucking cheers. So and I lost the rear end because I ran really wide, and I put, I put a wheel on the gravel, so it, like, fucked me over completely. I got myself into the gravel, but... And then the car snapped when I was coming back onto the track, and it decided... Mary decided, oh, yeah, instead of going round him... Like, because I pulled right into the, like, on, onto the left hand side. He's like, why don't you go on the, just go on the inside here, Mary? Okay, then. Alright, now we're climbing the pit. That's my There's more cars in the pit. I could be up to P7 here. People slate me for hating the AI, but you can't, I don't see how people defend them. Oh, it's going to be a drag race with me and Ricardo. It was pretty much story time. I catch the uh, Meanwhile, I was with Button, and I'm now up in the P7. Masses up the road. I'm going to have to do all that again. But the only saving grace is the fact that everyone's going to be on the prime tyre at, at the end of the race. That's the one thing we'll be happy about. Up in the P6. I can actually go flat into the pit lane for the first time this race. <laughs> Whereas I couldn't the last two stints. So I was wingless. Alright, there we go. Pit stop. Let's see what I feed out. This has been really interesting to see how much of an overcar I got on everyone that was overtaking composition. So far, yep. I'm down to P10. 11. 12. I think I could be out in 13th. That's Kvyat. He's going to be my target because he was in the pit lane. Okay, Kvyat's got past me. There's Grosjean. I come out ahead of Maldonado. So I'm in P14 now. Net position, I think. I'm right back with Grosjean. I should be able to pass him quite easily now down the pit straight. There we go. DRS wide open. Should be an easy pass on Rogo. Try again before turn one so I can pull ahead of him. There we go. There we are, run back and cover DRS wide open. Sure, so much more speed. There's cars in the pit lane. I set a 1086 on standard. Alright. There's Alonso. Should have DRS on him now. Should be able to pass him into turn three, hopefully, quite comfortably. Come on, DRS kicking. There we go. Alright, Alonso's going to be a sitting duck. There we go. It's going to pull to the inside. Right, so pretty much caught. I'm basically the exact same gap that I was to Massa in the other stint. Job done. P9. Nasser is next. And he hasn't. Oh, okay. Come out. Come out ahead of not science as well. But Massa should be pitting this lap. I think Massa's on the same strategy as me. So it's me and Massa versus the two Mercedes at the minute. I think. Darius and Nasser at the exit of two. I've got a decent exit. I don't know. If, he's not as slow as the McLaren Honda, but I should be able to get him comfortably to turn three, just like Alonso. There we go. The inside. Drop down. P8. I'm on a mission. Oh, yeah, this is the first time in cop that I'm actually talking. You always take over in cop. <laughs> Car in the pit lane. No, not, not in Canada. Not in Canada. I was pretty much sweating all race. That's, 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 that's your job. That's, that's, that's your issue. It's going to be another one at the exit of turn two. Into turn three by the look of it. DRS wide open. For P6. Freaking it's just some straight line speed on me. Right, Massa's in the pit lane, I think. Or, or, uh, I think there you go, yeah, Massa's in the pits. Bish, bash, bosh. Alright, another car in the pit lane, I think that's Ricardo. So I'm going to try and overcut him, he's going to be my next target. Flat out into the pit lane, love it. Ran a bit wide, but I've managed Stevens to slow it down. just mugged me off, coming out of the pits. Alright, final pit stop, come on. What, what, else, what more damage can I do this race? I've got a feeling it might be very boring final set of highlights. Let's see if I overcut Ricardo. That's, that's For me, it'll be very boring because I think, I think yeah, unless, well, hopefully Mercedes coming at the end of this lap. That's Bottas in the pit lane with me. I think that's Ricardo there. But for me now, he's just going to be no, sweating trying to set the fastest lap. That's Ricardo there. All right, Ricardo is just ahead of me there. Okay, can we catch Ricardo before the end of the race? Should comfortably be able to, but you never know. Oh my god, Ricardo! Oh my god! I wonder if Mercedes won options. Ricardo already screwed up my fastest lap attempt now. Eh? 
mass has gone. Oh, uh, squeeze up inside. Oh, that was easier than what I thought. But this is going to be quite. This is going to be very, very good in the championship for me, because that, that is two wins on the trot. Well, in a couple of corners, but two wins on the trot, fifty points, and and to say Tom's in fourth as well. Like third was bad enough, like to lose to your teammate. But is for coming around the final corner to win the Austrian Grand Prix. Da, 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 da. Fair play. Da, 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 da. And the, you know what the funny thing is, what that wasn't even scripted. <laughs> I just fucked up twice. Yep. Tom just... Oh, I, no, I fucked up once, sorry. The AI fucked me over the other time, but... Yeah, it, it's... I've never seen this series change so much. Like, the past couple of races, I was messed over badly. Like, Monaco has messed over quite badly. Spain. And finally, I'm actually going to get... I'm getting a little bit of luck. I think Tom's been very unlucky this race. To lose his front wing, not once, but twice, is bad enough. But he's also... His main championship rivals have finished all ahead of him. So, that'll be interesting looking at the championship. But, um... Do you know what reminds me of? What? Yeah, you know, Bulls Return, yeah, season yeah. one. I started off very strong. Yeah, and I'm You came back. back in the mid season, yeah. but then I wrapped it up in the end. Yeah, because I, I think it was like from Austria to maybe Italy, I think it was, or Singapore, where I did very, very well. I had a very good mid season, and then it was the final end of the season. Maybe I'm just good on good, better tracks. Maybe it's just better tracks I like, and I don't get screwed up so much, but. Very, very good race for me. Not many highlights. Sorry if I didn't get to speak so much. Tom was rambling on so much that race. That, uh, my, but obviously, race. it's a live commentary, so you have to speak of what you're doing. And if you're overtaking every lap, then you have to kind of say that. Exactly. I was just going to say, like, obviously, my race was, apart from the first 15 laps, my race was pretty, pretty incredible. But overall, um, constructors wise, I think we're still going to maintain our lead, I think, just if uh, my math serves me correctly, which was about six points clear. So I think we'll just about be ahead. Yep. Um, yep. I think I'm going to lose the lead in the championship. Or I might be tied with Rosberg. I'm not sure. It's all very interesting. Like Me and Cam don't know this yet. Until we make the graphics and edit the video, we don't know. So um, we're going to have to try and find something for ourselves. But um, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, we're going to move on to the drivers and constructor standings. So you won't hear Cam no more on mine. And I'll, you won't hear me or no more on Cam's end. So yeah, let's do it. So there we have it guys, that was the Austrian Grand Prix, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, if you did then please leave a like down below, and uh, subscribe if you're new, but as you can see, looking at the drivers and constructors standings, and uh, I'm now still leading the championship, surprisingly, after that race, but only one point over Rosberg, the only change in the top 10 being that Callum has now overtaken Lewis Hamilton for third place in the drivers championship, and uh, looking at the second half of the table, uh, nothing has changed except for uh, Marcus Ericsson getting his first points for Sauber, and then pushing everyone else below him down one place, and uh, finally looking at the constructors, literally not a single change in this table except for Salva because of Marcus Ericsson getting his first point since the motor tour so Evan McLaren down a couple of points and uh, also me and Callum have actually stretched that gap to Mercedes uh, up to 10 points now so me and Callum are really starting to get above the Mercedes now and trying to just get a grip on the season and I hope you guys enjoyed the series so far and let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking of the series so far and if you're enjoying it but nevertheless guys like I said if you enjoyed the video please leave a like down below if you're new on here please be sure to subscribe and subscribe to Callum that it also links down below in the description and uh, also in the description there's links to everything that you want to know about me Twitter Instagram Instagram, uh, partnership, all of that good stuff. But nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all very, very soon. So I'll be on the same HD, and I'll see you all in my next video. So from me, goodbye.